Today, I'd like to introduce you to the 2018 Santa Fe Limited Ultimate All-Wheel Drive. This is an incredible vehicle. It is in storm blue, and you can see a few rows for passenger seating, and that's just the beginning. That automatic lift gate is enabled whenever you lock your car and it's you're coming back with your hands filled with groceries or packages after shopping. Think holidays and all of the times you have so many grocery bags in your hands. You stand in front of it and it opens up for you. Really nice feature. Let's take a look at the wheels. These are 19 inch alloy wheels. And let's go ahead and take a look at the unique five bar front grille. The color is just dynamite, isn't it? It's a very sharp vehicle. High beams on the car are automatic and they roll as you go around those turns so that the curves, they curve along with you, which is something incredible. Heated and turn signal available on your side mirrors. Whoops, I kind of locked myself out of the car there. On the inside, something I've grown very fond of is seating one and setting two for both whenever the passenger is the passenger or the passenger is the driver. So no more fighting about that. Your gas trunk release is on the side here, which is nice to know. Your typical mirror settings are right here. You're locking. You have your sunroof up above and that closes and opens and has um, the ability to shade out as well. Speaking of shade, the back has the shades for your back seat passengers. Plenty of storage space as you can see right in here down in the depths there. We have both heating and cold front seats. They work opposite of each other. So you can each have a different setting on your seat. Auto hold, I'm a big fan of in Pittsburgh. On those hills, you're at a stop, take your foot off the brake. It does hold for you. Parking brake is a must in Pittsburgh. And guess what? Once you put it on and engage the vehicle with your foot on the brake from park to drive, it automatically goes off. So no more forgetting to take your parking brake off, which is something done in some of the vehicles. Let's illuminate. You have an eight inch touch screen. It has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay available. As you saw, I touched, it was no key necessary. The keys just need to be in the vehicle. Plenty of USB and that includes all the way to the back. And you can see there are, there are plenty of seats in here and they also have USB chargers available in them as well. And the leg room is definitely plentiful in the car. I like it because it's a split seat for the passengers to move to the back seat and those back seats easily reconfigure and split so you can stack packages, which is what I've already done with a run today. Your steering wheel is absolutely loaded. It is definitely the captain's quarters with your volume control, your phone calls, your cruise control setting, and everything that you will see in front of you on the display is run over here. Scrolling down with this and entering with this is how you set things in up here. And I have mine set so I can see how many miles per hour I'm going. You have your blue link, your phone, your rear heating, and the climate control is separate for the, both the front and back seat passenger. Now I want to take a look at the back seat and show you this because this is really nice. The back seat has available the climate control. First they have the heated seats, which is great, and they can control their own climate from the vents on the side. Cup holders, expandable pockets, and when you have kids with you, you definitely need these expandable pockets. And these arms come up and down for comfort, or just leave it open if you want bigger size to the seating there. So these are just a few of the things I like inside of the Santa Fe Limited Ultimate All-Wheel Drive. It is the 2018. The color is incredible. It looks beautiful in the sunlight. It is storm blue. One touch to close the trunk. Down it goes, making it super easy to function.